This year's Remarkable Women finalists embody leadership, service, and care for our community. And this morning, we recognize Jamie Schreiber. She's a mom to anyone who needs one and is always willing to add one more seat at the dinner table. News 19's Chief Meteorologist Daniel Dozier has more for us. From the stickers on the van, family photos on the walls, and piles of toys, you know happiness lives here. <laughs> a big family fostering love, led by a remarkable woman named Jamie. She's mom to so many wonderful kids. We're high school sweethearts. Jamie's number one fan is her husband, Josh. I hit the jackpot. They foster kids together, but Jamie Schreiber is a force to be reckoned with, a registered nurse who faces health issues of her own. I don't have an immune system. But that's not what defines her. It's her unending willingness to love one more. We have food in our fridge. We have extra beds upstairs. We have, we live so comfortably. Why not just share that with, with kids who need food and home and safety. Theirs is a story of devotion to their children and each other. So right now we have an 11 year old and nine year old that are biologically ours, a four year old that's adopted, two two year olds that are adopted, a two year old biological, a one year old um, adopted, and then we have one foster newborn baby. The Schreibers have fostered 30 children. We actually take any age. And when it comes to being a nurse. You know, I'm not working in the field, but I still get to use my nursing skills with the medically fragile children that we get. So what's like a perfect day for you guys? I would say just being with my kids. Um, a perfect day, just waking up with them, not having any doctor's appointments or anything like that. Um, and just spending time with them. We cherish bedtime, I'll be honest. Like, I love it all, but when little ones go to bed, it's a, it's a sigh of relief. Yeah, especially with the young ones, right? So what gets you through all of the, you know, the issues that you've been having through life? I just don't let anything put me down. Like, you just gotta keep going. Um, I, we live for the Lord, and so we just, you know, every day is His, and we just live it out as best as we can task and we appreciate all of you who nominated a remarkable woman here in the Tennessee Valley. The winner will receive a thousand dollar donation to the nonprofit charity of her choice. Well, we will announce that winner our remarkable woman of 2022 after the break.